Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to go and see Adam again who is in my last video if you saw it. He's a relatively new subscriber and I introduced him to the group I ride with at times and he wants me just to have a little look at his bike. He's got a Santos, I can't remember the exact model, I think it's a Santos anyway, 125. I'm going to have to open my visor a little bit. And uh, he's been having a few little issues with it, and it it has been to the garage. He has a couple of little things done to it, I think. There's a 2018 bike, so it should overall be decent. But he's been having some troubles with it. Um, stalling on him quite a lot as he comes to a stop. And he wanted me to take it for a little ride as well, see if it happens while I'm riding it. So there's a good chance that is him still getting used to the bike because he, as I said in the last video he's very new to biking still by now he's probably been riding a geared bike probably just about a month now maybe coming up to a month maybe a bit over a month he was on a scooter or something before that for a little while just to get used to being on the bike cool thing is he lives where one of my mates used to live a long time ago when we used to hang about as lads and go out and about in the cars and that's so I'm now going to park in a familiar spot somewhere I haven't been for a long long time <laughs> that's going to be interesting it's only down the road from here and then we'll go off and ride somewhere else and I'll probably have a quick little go on his bike maybe give my first impressions and all that it's a little bit cold today, but I dressed up nice and warm, and so I'm feeling fine. I'm not feeling cold at all. But it's a little bit damp on the road, so you've got to be careful. And this is the bunch of flats he lived in. I remember this place quite well. I never used to have a big old gate there, or it never used to be shut at least. Apparently, these days I've got security and everything, and cameras and all sorts. Never had anything like that back in the day. Oh, my fuel light just came on as well, so I better get some petrol on the way to the next spot. <laughs> Hey mate, how's it going? Hello! <laughs> oh, I think he's stalled again. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you might have done. I didn't have a touch in, that's why. Right. <laughs> How are you finding the helmet? Yeah, good. Comfortable, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty good for the helmet, yeah. I'm pretty on my last helmet. Yeah. Honestly, doing that a bit annoying, but... Yeah, that would be no nice if it went just a little bit ratchet or something, yeah. <laughs> I'd probably be alright on petrol to start riding down here, have a go on his bike and then back home again, but... Adam was kind enough to say he'll lend me the money to get a little bit of petrol because I forgot my card like a wallet. I think I left it on the table at home. I've got my wallet in my bag but I don't think my bank card's in there. My other bank card is but there's nothing in there. Yeah I heard it. Does it idle all right otherwise? What? Does it idle all right otherwise? It's a steady idle. I'm back in the Alright, I'll let you go then. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I'll see my back end kick out then. I must have done over then. Huh? I must have done over then. <laughs> I went to... See my back end kick out on the speed bump. Yeah? Did you see my back end kick out on the speed bump. No, I didn't. I was almost falling over. <laughs> Mine went. <laughs> I'm sure the speed bumps in the Sainsbury's there were like a rubber. Bit weird, he, he said he had a slip in and he didn't notice her my back end kicked out as I went over one of the speed bumps at a funny angle. <laughs> Doesn't bother me at all when that happens these days. It's like once you've felt it, you realize it's not so bad, and the bug usually right stuff straight away, and your instincts kick in, and you usually do the right thing to counter act it. <laughs> See where we're going, so he's alright. <laughs> it's only up the road there. Some of you may or may not remember me doing a video up here when I was going over all the mods I'd done on this bike. We're just going to pop up there, have a little look around. I think he just wanted to check the place that he's never been there before. I've never looked around the place, but the only time I've been there was for that video. So then I'll have a little go on his bike, see if it stalls for me, and see what it's like. Oh, that's nice and easy. <laughs> Call this feel different. <laughs> weird. That does that feel weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> cool, that is that cool, that is weird, man. Oh, this will take some getting used to. No wonder you keep stalling it, man. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's very different to that. Very different. And what's the keyway like? Is that like at the keyway? Not quite. That's a bit different. This feels like you really sort of slide right into a little dip. Whereas mine was more like a. This is probably more towards a cruiser, in it, in a way. It's like a naked cruiser or something. Whereas mine was full on naked, where the seat was more like mine, but flat. <laughs> yeah, this will take me some getting used to. Yeah, that was a bit odd as well. When you start at the revs go up again, like when you first switch the key on. Is it? That did just then. I didn't see it. It doesn't normally the RPMs go up and down when you start it. When you first turn the key, they that's just the gauge is getting ready. Mine do all that. The yeah. gauge is going all that, and the lights come on, and the fuel pump prime your head up. Yeah. But when I started it, then I've then done the road thing again. Yeah, it's like, if you twist the, twist the thing, twist it. Yeah, it's, don't, don't do it. Sometimes it's like, stays at three for a few seconds and goes down. Oh, right. Yeah. I think that's just warming up stage. I should still be warm now, is it? Yeah, that dash is definitely familiar. It's the same shape and everything to my old one. Yeah, good luck on pressure. <laughs> Cool, this is going to feel weird. Oh, I wouldn't be too low, I'll just take it for a little while, see how it is and that. And yeah, try and get it to uh, gear four and have a clutch in and try to go to the full stop. And don't downshift. Oh, right. Let's see if it'll happen, so that happens to you. Yeah, well, like I say, it should be alright. <laughs> this gear's going to take a little bit getting you, see, it feel weird, and it's so different to mine. Oh, it's five gears, yeah? Yeah, Yeah, because that shouldn't affect it. As long as your clutch is in, that shouldn't stall. Right. I'm going to go see where that goes up to that way. So you might see me come past again if it don't go anywhere. I can see that road up there, but that don't look like it go off up there. Yeah. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Oh, that is kind of weird. So I'm on a Sontis. <laughs> Sontis Mantis. I don't know if I said that right now. I thought there was a road up there, but there isn't. Let's have a quick 
quick look around up here as I'm getting stuck up here because I don't think there's anywhere I can actually go up here. That's all saying go the other way. <laughs> so let's have a little quick look at it and then we'll go for a quick ride as well. I'll just put that in My seating position is really weird. I sort of slide right into a like that's almost like a cradle. And I don't know if that need to be changed for me or not, but the getting your feet to the gears feels really weird, but it's very, very different to my bike. Very different to my 125, I think. Because mine was more f a flat, naked bike, but that's another thing that's just annoying. It actually stalls it when you just put the thing down, even when it's in neutral. But yeah, Santes or Santes, I'd. Santes Mantis. Does it just say 125? It said 125. Not bad little bike if you like the style of them. I think they look alright. 68 plate. <laughs> Quite a nice little bike, but like I say, he wants me to give it a little ride, see if it does stall on me at all, like it's been stalling on him quite often as well. And he says sometimes when he's in fourth, let's take that off so I can start the engine. He says sometimes when he's in fourth, he'll hold the clutch in and just come to full stop in fourth. Obviously, without releasing the clutch. And it stalls on him. I'm getting a little more used to it now, anyway. You'll see him up there with my bike. <laughs> well, it's not doing it to me, not here, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, my keyway was uh, carbureted. You can definitely tell this is fuel injected. Let's try it in fifth. That's not wanting to stall for me. Maybe he's not holding the clutch in fully or something. Be careful with my speed a bit up here, look. Old Bill's still sitting there. But to me, it does feel pretty nice, pretty smooth. I would be comfortable once you get used to the position and the pedals. Well, not the pedals so much, the um, levers, the gear lever and the brake lever. Not that I need the back brake much anyway, so that's okay. The mirror seemed pretty good. I won't move them too much because they're all set for him. But I see ever I did go to look for, <laughs> look for my bar and mirrors a second ago. You might have noticed. These little one two fives are still fun. I would would have kept my one if I could afford to keep that as well and use that just for running around little rides for the shops, things like that. I've been handy to have for stuff like that. Let's get the revs up a little bit and then I'll hold the clutch in. There we go, just stalled, look, just stalled just in. But he did say the garage is getting him a new fuel pump. So hopefully, what's over that car? Is that all stickers? <laughs> I think that is. But hopefully that's something to do with the fuel pump then, because that is a bit weird that it did did that. Like, so I hadn't done it to me before that, but from high revs that seemed to like to stall as it comes down. At least sometimes I didn't do it then, so it's not something that's going to do all the time. Same, same dash, well very very similar, same design and everything, same fuel gauge and everything and as my Keyway 125, so that's very familiar to me. It's just the riding position is a little bit different. 
You're almost like a praying mantis <laughs> compared to a normal naked bike. Yeah, I think that's just quite a rare thing it's doing because I've tried quite a few times to just hold the clutch and after getting the revs up and in different gears. And it's only stalled on me once. There you go, it's done it again. Uh, it seems to not like it for some reason if you get your revs quite high and then do it. It doesn't seem to like it. But you can avoid that by just using your gears to slow down and all that. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way and head back. I don't want to leave him sitting there on his own too long. Uh, it seems a bit sluggish there. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm in fourth foot around 6,000 RPM then. I've got, I've definitely got a feeling that the new fuel pump will fix the issue. I mean the mechanics at the garage should be experienced enough to know that sometimes revs dropping and stalling the engine is sometimes a faulty coil or HT lead on the old engines that are them. I'm sure this will probably have coil but I don't know how to set up. So I've got a, yeah, definitely got a feeling that'll be sorted out once he gets his no yeah. And just drop your clutch again if it does it. If it suddenly stalls, just drop your clutch again and that'll bump start it as you only move. Just saying that to Adam because he'll watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> 